everyone. Um, my name is Ashley Lawhead. I'm a graduate student here at JMU and a member of our Residence Life team at Hillside Hall. And I'm Kevin Meany and I'm the Director of Residence Life here at JMU. So we wanted to take a few minutes to talk with you today about some important information regarding residence halls and fall move-in. So Kevin, could you please tell the students what they need to know about fall move-in this year? Sure, Ashley. Um, we've made some significant changes this year um, to better manage the move-in process. And so there's a few things that all residents should try to remember. Um, first, um, in order to ensure proper social distancing in, during the move-in process this year, um, every student has an assigned date and time for move-in. Um, and they can check that on our website by going to the, list, uh, the posted list of rooms and looking up their bed and it will tell them what day and time they move in. Um, in order to limit crowds in the residence halls on, on the move-in days, we are limiting um, residents to just two guests to help them with move-in. So we ask them to think very carefully about who they select um, so that they have people who can actually help them move their belongings because there will not be move-in volunteers moving, moving students' belongings this year. Both the student and their helpers must wear a mask or a face covering during the move-in process, which um, also goes back to our COVID precautions. Um, and then each student gets a three-hour window for move-in. And so what we're asking students to do is to use as much of that time as they want and then at the end of that three hour window, we ask that their two um, helpers, their two guests, go ahead and depart so we can get prepared for the next move-in window which starts shortly thereafter. Thanks for that, Kevin. So now what about things to bring? What are some important items that students and their families should bring with them this year? Well, sure, um, you know, there's always the normal list of, of things students need to bring and want to bring, but we're adding, we're, we're emphasizing five in particular this year, um, again, related to just the COVID situation and, and um, being on top of that. Um, so the first thing is several, um, several washable or um, reusable face coverings. Um, one will not be enough. Um, you're gonna wanna clean them on a regular basis and rotate them. Um, a thermometer um, so that students can complete the check-in on the LiveSafe app every, every day like they're supposed to. Um, hand sanitizer and disinfectant wipes um, um, for their room, for their backpack, for whatever else they might need it. And then something that shows up on the list every year is a shower caddy, but we're, we're emphasizing that this year just so that you can put all of your supplies in that shower caddy and bring it to the bathroom with you. And you're not putting your toothbrush or other items on the actual sink. You're keeping it in your, um, your shower caddy. And then we're encouraging students to wipe that shower caddy down after every time they use it. Um, and finally, we're also include, uh, encouraging students to pack light. Um, again, there will not be additional helpers at move-in this year. And so just think about the necessities that you need to bring with you for the fall and, and focus on bringing those with you. Alrighty, well, that's good advice. So another question we have is how can students contact the Office of Residence Life if they have further questions or they want more information about move-in? Well, the, the best thing to do if you have questions about move-in is to go to our website, um, which is at uh, www.jmu.edu backslash ORL. And we've got a whole move-in page it's on the left side of, of the navigation bar. You click on move-in 2020, and it has all the information, not just the stuff I've talked about so far, but lots of other information as well. And that should be able to answer most of your moving questions. If you have something that's not addressed there or an additional question, you can always reach out to us on email at res-life at jmu.edu. So that's res-life at jmu.edu. Kevin, thank you for that contact information. Um, is there anything else that you feel students should know about move-in this year? Sure, uh, the one last thing I would mention is that um, we do post on our website um, special driving directions for move-in days um, and you know that are set up to bring students and their families to the proper location on campus to, to begin the actual move-in process. And so we're just asking students and parents, when you get within about 10 miles of JMU, um, pull up those driving directions from our website and use them from that point forward. Don't rely on GPS. Don't rely on your previous visits to, to the campus because you may end up in the wrong location on campus and waste a lot of valuable time. Yeah, we don't want that to happen. Um, but thank you so much for joining us, Kevin, and for all of that really helpful information. Absolutely. Thanks for having me here. And here's to a safe and successful semester.